they come. Do what you must. Father, watch the door! Crystals. I've noticed them on the Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? <gasps> We're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Better than us, brother. I can't visit in the north, nor do I wish to try. And here we go again.
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong I'll find perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, those were all entitled to walk their own paths, regardless. Of that. I'd wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. You still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think. 
think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. Your mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When father went inside the light, he you said he went inside the light of Alfheim. Yes, and yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. We're almost there. Huh, they've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf king. I thought all the dark elves were... Dear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Perhaps you shouldn't pick one.
The shrine is right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornier chest down here last time. <laughs> oh, guess they moved it. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Mm -hmm. I think I see something. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the...
Four more arrive. <laughs> Okay. 